Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Mutowski, and I'm a reproductive endocrinologist and infertility specialist at Dallas IVF. And I wanted to do an educational piece on egg freezing, a topic near and dear to my heart, as it's something that I did or chose personally for myself in my future family planning, because I knew that with my career, having undergone four years of med school, four years of OBGYN residency, three years of reproductive endocrinology training, that by the time I finished all of that, I would wanna be focusing on building my practice, helping patients get pregnant, and ultimately realize their family dreams. Um, and I knew I wouldn't be ready to have a family of my own for quite some time. Me, as I said, my career was certainly a strong motivator into why I wanted to freeze eggs for myself. Um, and currently in my personal life, uh, my partner and I just aren't quite ready and he's working on a second career for himself. Um, so we knew that egg freezing was certainly a good option for the two of us um, for our potential long-term family planning. Egg freezing is a wonderful option for any woman that wants to put their fertility in their own hands at their own time. Egg freezing should be considered typically the younger the better. There's a common misperception that we have all the time in the world to build the family we want and I wish that were the case. However, we know that fertility peaks in our 20s and it will decline throughout our time. Typically we like to see women late 20s and throughout your 30s for the egg freezing process. When considering to freeze your eggs, the best place to start is with ovarian reserve testing to determine what your current fertility status is. We don't want to close the doors to being able to preserve the fertility on any patient. This could work for someone who's beginning to be in their late 30s, early 40s, depending on what your current egg standing is. Doing fertility testing and ovarian reserve testing typically is done with blood work. There are a few different tests, some of which are specific to where you are in your period and some that can be done on any day that help us better determine what your current fertility status is, how you would respond to treatment, and if you would be a good candidate for egg freezing. Um, this is tonight's regimen for uh, this evening regarding the shots. So there's two different injections and again both of them are stimulating the ovaries to develop multiple eggs. Um, the first is one that comes in a pen and you just dial up the dosage before loading a needle. The other requires a little bit more preparation. It requires mixing. So you are sent a vial of liquid and a vial of powder. And so you end up dissolving one milliliter of the liquid into the powder and that's the injection you give yourself. So after numbing my belly with an ice pack, I have my shots ready to go. I've dialed up my dose. Just prep the area, which is your belly, with an alcohol swab. Just cleaning the area. And then it's just a small pinch. The needle goes in. There you go, all done. We typically require a total of four to five ultrasound visits. Each of these visits will be quick and easy, spending no more than 15-20 minutes in the clinic. The ultrasound itself is vaginal so that we can have the closest look at the follicles so that we can watch the progression of how each person is responding to the medications. The ultrasounds will be looking at the size of the follicles to see if we need to adjust the medications and to watch the response to the medications. Okay, Sarah, I'm going to go ahead and get a quick set of vitals. Okay. Is there anything that you're allergic to? Nope. Any medications, latex, nothing? No. Okay, great. And have you ever had anesthesia before? Yes. Did you have any problems with it at all? Okay. I'm really excited today, being the day of my egg retrieval. It's been a really fast process to get to this point. Um, I'm excited to know that as I'm working on building my career, that I have eggs frozen for the future so that when I'm ready to have a family, that I have that safety net available. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? All right, we're gonna take you to the back to the operating room. We're gonna get you all hooked up to our monitors and the procedure itself is only gonna take 10, 15 minutes and then we'll have you back here in recovery. Fantastic. Under ultrasound guidance, you can see the many different follicles. And within each follicle is an egg that we will extract and then go on to freeze. 
you can see the needle entering into the follicle and we will extract the follicular fluid and with it the egg. As the follicle collapses or comes down, we are taking the fluid out. Okay, so once I get the tube of follicular fluid, I'm gonna pour it into this dish. And then I will look through the microscope and just try to locate any of the eggs. And then once I find one, I'll just aspirate it up into this pipette. And then we rinse it off in this outer well, just to clean it off a little bit and then we hold them here until the end of the retrieval. I'm gonna gather the eggs from the center well. And then I'm gonna put them in what we call a rinse dish. So we're just gonna drop the eggs here. And then this is where we're going to trim the cumulus cells off of the eggs. Okay, so once I've trimmed all of the eggs, I'm gonna rinse them off and then I'll just pick them up amongst the four drops. And then this is where they will wait until we are ready to freeze, two hours later. The next step in this process is to take the mature eggs, we're going to freeze them to protect the eggs, and this whole process takes less than 10 minutes. I'm picking up the eggs in the final drop and I'm loading them onto the device. And once they're loaded, I'm going to move them quickly into their straw in liquid nitrogen. After the freezing process, the eggs are gonna be stored in these tanks here, long-term storage. They are monitored, and the monitoring is 24 hours, seven days a week, 365, and your eggs can be stored um, indefinitely. Thank you. So I'm now done with my egg freezing procedure. Um, I know my eggs are in good hands and frozen for the future. Um, it was quick, painless, and a very easy process. And through the whole time, I felt like um, there were always physicians and nurses and other staff available to ask and answer any questions that I may have about the process going forward. 